<laughs> I've been bang, 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 banging. But that's <laughs> water. So I've got water here. I'm just going to dip the beauty. Hello. Welcome to my channel. It's good to have you here. My name is Ada. So I'm going to be starting out with my brows. I'm going to be using uh, this simple David's pencil. If you are not comfortable using pencils, you can also use a brow pomade and a flat brush. I'm most comfortable using this one. So that's why I'm going back to my David's pencil. You can use whatever works for you. So yeah, David's pencil number 18 and number 003. I'm using a flat brush now to just blend out the concealer and this concealer I've used is in like just a shade uh, lighter than my skin the brows i'm just quickly going to move on to my eyes i'm going to do it in a stepwise way so brows eyes and then the rest of my face with the same concealer i'm just going to rub on the rest of my eyes just sort of like a lead uh, primer what i've done now is to go in with this highlighter palette and then put that all right on top of my lid. This is my go-to look. You don't have to do this. Just the bronzer on top of your eyelid is quite enough as eyeshadow. But I personally like to go a step for that to add this highlighter shape right on top of my lid. So I'm going to go in with this same flat brush, the one I used to do my concealer, just to clean out the edges a little bit. I actually need more concealer for it. I'm going to do my lashes next. So this is just the lash key I'm going to use. I'll just use this right on top of my eyelid to do it this way, but putting it on the eyelashes does not work for me. So I have my lash glue on now. I'm going to let that dry. And while that dries on, I'm going to go ahead and do skincare. I'm going in with my moisturizer and sun cream. Just moisturizer and sun cream. And that's that for my skin. I like to do my brows first before anything else. Because I like to work with my brows when it's still dry. It makes it so much easier to do the strokes of the pencil on a dry skin. And so that's why I do that first and then skin prep next. Oops. <laughs> I forgot my lashes and the glue is really, really dried out. I'm going to try. I have my mirror right here pointing downward and I'm looking right down at it. On. 
and this goes on. And the lash is on in seconds. The same technique, looking down, you can start from the end or you can start from the middle. When that goes in, I hold the other tip and then lay it right down. And yeah, that's the lashes on. Literally in seconds. <laughs> I'm not going to be using any foundations for this look. I've got nothing for moisturizers and sunscreen, but I'm going to go in with a setting spray first. It helps to lock your moisturizer in place before you go in with the primer. Now remember to always let each layer dry out first before you go on to the next layer. I'm now going to go in with my primer. This is a star primer for Makeup Revolution. This is just a simple water-based uh, primer. It works for all skin type, oily or dry. I think that this is a bit too much. I'm going to reduce it. It really just gives uh, a smooth layer for your makeup to go on. This is the Elf Cosmetics 16 Hour Camo Concealer. It's going to work one side at a time because it dries down really quickly. And to moisten, you literally need to put it in water. So I've got water here. I'm just going to dip the beauty blender right in it, press it in just so that it soaks up all that water. And as water goes in it, it swells up. So when you see it swelling up, you know it's taking up enough water and it's damp enough to just squeeze up all that water, squeeze it right out. And now you have your moist uh, beauty blender to work with. You then go in with um, a paper towel and then dry it down a bit more. I need to really hurry because this concealer is going to dry on me. It's literally going to dry on me. No, no, no. Okay, that part. You're sort of blending out the areas with little products first before you then move into the other areas. If that makes sense. So this, go ahead and keep blending with little, little motions. You don't want to bang, 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 bang. I guess I've been bang, 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 banging. But that's, <laughs> you actually need to work in light strokes, really light strokes, so that you're not picking up all of the products. Because what I've done now is that I've picked up all of the concealer. My, my face isn't concealed. It's not highlighted because I've packed away all of the products. So you really need to do Dap, 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 really light stroke. So, yeah. Let's blend this out. Light strokes, just light strokes. Patting it really light. All you're doing is spreading it out, taking up uh, products that are not needed, but you, don't, you also don't want to take away all the products because in that way, you're really not going to get any coverage at all. I'm getting a bit more coverage on this side because I've worked slowly, not necessarily slowly, but I've used a light hand, a light stroke, as opposed to the other side where I was really, really hard on it and I picked up all of the products. I don't know if it's feasible. The concealer, you can see on this side, I still got more coverage than I have on this because I need to be more on this side. Yep, that's enough. So, yeah. Now I've got equal coverage on both sides. For contour, I'm going to be using this foundation. So you're putting your contour right where uh, your natural contour or right on top of where your natural contours are. You can look at the side of your face and you see uh, a dark part. This is right where the dark part of my face is. I've gone ahead to put my concealer, this foundation that I'm using as a uh, contour, I've put it right on top of that line. And so I've also done the same here. I'm going to put just a little bit right on my forehead. It's, I'm going to blend this all out with this side of my beauty blender. 
again light strokes and then I take it all up so like in the corners here I take it up to the forehead and blend it back towards my edges yeah, this is it for my cream base i've only got concealer and um contour here i'm not going to be doing cream blush it looks good i'm now going to set this layer of cream product okay you're trying to lock all the layers in so that it sticks and it stays put let that dry down and while it's drying i'm going to go ahead and do my lips this is my go-to lip, lip color. It's always a pink. So I'm going to go over this with uh, a lip gloss, a clear lip gloss. So now back to our concealers <laughs> because I'm going to go again and have a look at my eyes just to see that it's still there with no creases and everything is still nicely blended out and yeah it is but I'm just going to go in just a little bit more and blend it all out before I put the setting powder. I do the setting powder I'm going to go ahead and use the same side of my uh, beauty blender that I used to blend my concealer and just go over uh, my face just to remove any harsh line between the contour and the concealer. So I'm going to be using Makeup Revolution Setting Powder in Banana Deep. And using this end of a dry beauty blender, I'm going to be applying it. So you take uh, a little bit of it, dust it off. So that you're using a small layer at a time and then go in at this point i then also like to brighten out this part a little bit and also my forehead So now I'm just blending it all out again because you want a seamless finish. I'm going to go in with a bronzer to set the part of my face that I I contoured. So take a bit bronzer and in circular motion sweeping it off. going to finish off the look with my blush and I go in my I go on my cheek right on top of where the contour was placed and then just place it on it you're sweeping it up right up to the temple of your head of your face I'm going to be going with a face powder that's just your skin tone I'm using this Maybelline fix me uh, powder I'm going to use that to then go over all of the other places where I have nothing on. So right here. Right here. Also go over the same brush that you use to apply your face brush. You use it to go over all of your face, blush, contour, concealer, every single part. This literally gives the seamless finish, airbrushed finish to your makeup. It's a game changer, people. It literally is a game changer. I'm now going to go back in with the setting spray and just spray the rest all this okay. 
what I love to do at the end of my makeup is to lift it up a little bit more with some highlighting. Uh, I don't highlight my cheeks, but I highlight my the tip of my nose, uh, the corners of my eyes, as well as the top of my lips. And for a simple look like this, I usually would not contour my nose. I just put the highlighter right here so that it puts attention there. And to the other side as well. And then on the tip of my nose, and lastly, right on top of my lips. So don't touch your face while you're sweating. Just let it dry out. And once it's dried out, you can use a piece of tissue to just tap, tap, tap. Because you've followed these processes, it's not going to move. Your makeup is not going to melt away, but you're going to sweat. So when you sweat, let it dry out. Once it's dried out, you can go back in tap 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 with your tissue in the shiny part and then go ahead with an extra layer of powder to sort of uh, take out all of that shine and it's going to look like you've just done your makeup and again you don't want to use too many layers if you do want to use foundation just go ahead and use it on this other part of your face and as well as the little bit on your forehead where you've got no contour so here's all the tips for you, Baker Babes, on a sweaty day. I hope that you found it useful. And if you found it useful, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know that you've done all this. And I'll be meeting you right there in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. I wake up in the morning. Open the shade. Letting all of the light in The sun is shining I can smell the coffee You made me The songs that you've been singing Tell me how much you love me You love me I don't